moving coil step-up transformers. Uh, this is a question that comes from Don in Middlebury, Indiana. Hey Paul, I'm currently using an Ortofon 2M black moving magnet cartridge on a VPI turntable into the Sprout 100. It sounds amazing. <laughs> I bet it does. If I wanted to use a moving coil cartridge with the Sprout's moving magnet phono preamp, could I use a step-up transformer? Does the step-up transformer replace the need to use a phono preamp altogether? I am confused. Well, Don, I will straighten you out. So, yeah, absolutely, you can use a step-up transformer, and you can do that to any moving magnet input stage. But a step-up transformer does not replace the need for a phono stage. So let me explain the differences. A moving coil versus a moving magnet cartridge. We'll start there. Moving magnet cartridges are, are fairly simple devices. They have a, a stylus, and then atop the stylus, they have a magnet. And as the stylus wiggles around in the groove of the record, the magnet wiggles around at the top of the stylus inside of the cartridge. And then there are coils of wire that are in very close proximity, and this moving magnet sends an electrical signal, create, you know, generates an electrical signal in those coils, okay? Now, obviously, in order for there to be a magnet atop a stylus, you have a lot of mass. And a much lower mass way to do it, and, so, and, and, and you can get much better um, tracing of the groove, is to do the opposite. Take a stylus, and instead of a heavy, uh, high-mass magnet, put a coil, a very lightweight coil, and then put the magnets to the outside. Now you have a coil wiggling around magnets as opposed to a magnet wiggling around coils. And so a moving coil cartridge is a much better way, a much better sounding device than a moving magnet, but it's also not as efficient. So it takes about well, it, it has about 30 times less output than a moving magnet does. So that's, again, here we go again. Maybe that, maybe for the, this next month, we'll talk about the trade-offs of engineering because there's, as I've said a hundred times, there's no free lunch. Ah, you got to pay for lunch in here. So yes, a moving coil is better, but at a price, and that price is output voltage. And so in order to increase the output voltage, we're going to need to get an amplifier or a step-up transformer. And step-up transformers are a great way to go. They have, you, you, you put in X amount, little, little, little bitty wiggles, and you get 30 times the wiggles out here. And that brings it up to the same level as a moving magnet cartridge. Now, the output of that transformer goes into the sprout, into its moving magnet stage, and goes through the rest of the phono stage. The, and that's a perfectly fine way to do that, and I would encourage you to do that. To the second part of your question, does it replace the phono stage? No, because the phono stage, whether it's moving coil or moving magnet, still has the RIAA curve. So we have to amplify the very small signals that come out of the moving magnet cartridge, or the even smaller ones that come out of the coil, uh, and we have to amplify those by quite a bit, 40 dB, 60 dB, quite, quite a lot. And in the process, we also need to reverse the RIAA curve. So when we make a record, the 20 kilohertz uh, and below signals are boosted by 10 times, and the bass is reduced by 10 times when we put and we make the record. Now when we play that record back, we have to do the opposite. We have to boost the bass and reduce the high so that we get a flat signal. And, and we've talked about why they do that, and it's not important here. But yeah, so it doesn't replace the phono stage. It will work, and it would be a great thing to do. Drop us a note. Let us know how it works. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later.